let's make a very typical network. I'll just draw a router over here. Let me get my draw tool going. I'll draw a router right here and a switch over here. And I'm even going to put some ports on this switch. And I'll do this throughout this video rather than drawing the diagram. You'll see why in a little while. And let's put some PCs on this. This will be PC4, PC3, PC2, and PC1. A happy little network. This is all on one IP network. And we can tell that because it all comes off of one port on this router. It's also on one broadcast domain. One broadcast domain. So this is fine, except what happens when I want to do this? I want to take these two and make them admin. And I want to take these two and I want to make these production PCs. I don't want them to be all on one broadcast domain. And I don't want them to be all on the same IP network. So what are my options? Well, one option I might have would be to do this. I could make a router and a switch over here and a switch over here. And I've got some ports on this switch and some ports on this switch. Now I'll put PC3 over here and PC4 over here, PC1 over here and PC2 over here. Now that looks pretty happy. The only problem is these things probably cost me, what, five to $10,000 each. And that is kind of expensive. So if I have another way around that, I would rather find another way. So what we can do with today's um, switches is something like this. I've got a router. I've got one switch like this, and I'll put my ports in here. I made this one a little bit bigger for a reason. And I'm going to go in and programmatically call this port and this port. These ports will belong to VLAN 2. Now, why didn't I choose VLAN 1? Well, because these blue ones by default are already on VLAN 1. Every port on a switch by default is VLAN 1. Now I'm going to choose these two down here. And I will programmatically name these as VLAN 3. So now I can take my PCs. I'll put PC3 here, PC4 here. PC1 here and PC2 here, and they are all on separate VLANs. Now, what happens when we have separate VLANs? Well, this VLAN up here, VLAN 2, is all on one IP subnet. So let's say that it's 192.168.1.0 slash 24. So these are on the 192.168.1 network, and let's make this one a dot one dot two like that. That would be the the ID the host ID over here, and then I've got these two here on maybe one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot zero slash twenty four. So this would be the dot one and the dot two like that, and they are on two separate broadcast domains. So right here. Broadcast Domain 1, Broadcast Domain 2. So I've got two separate broadcast domains, two separate networks, and everybody's happy. Now, there's only one little problem here. I cannot talk between these two VLANs. It's impossible without a router to talk between these two VLANs. But you said, well, you have a router. And yes, I'm going to get into this later, but one thing we will be able to do will be to send information from say PC1 up to this router back out of this router and over say to PC3. So I do have a router that can get me from one VLAN to another. Now not all uh, networks have routers necessarily. You can just have a big network with a switch and with no router and I could make VLANs on this switch down here and uh, by doing that I can uh, have separate VLANs 
but I cannot move information between them because of this problem of having two separate networks and two separate broadcast domains. Now, there is a way I can do it if this switch is what we call a layer 3 switch. Then it's got the capability of routing between them. Now, it doesn't have all of the capabilities of a router. Don't think that a layer 3 switch is both a router and a switch. It is not. It is just a switch that has the capability of intercommunicating between VLANs. And that's all that it has the capability of doing. So this is the solution that we're going to be talking about. Now, I'm going to do some additional videos with some additional information uh, about uh, this, the routing and some other things called trunk ports and so on. That'll be in another video.